Welcome again, everybody, to another eVoto tutorial. This tutorial is going to show you how to set up the edit in eVoto from Lightroom. I'm also going to show you then how to have your edited eVoto photo go right back into Lightroom. First, we're going to start out by showing you how to set up the edit in eVoto. As you can see on the screen, I have Lightroom Classic open. This only does work in Classic. There are two ways to do this. The first way, go to Lightroom, go to Lightroom Classic at the top, and go to Preferences. Under Preferences, go to External Editing. And here we have the ability to choose which editor we want. So I'm going to stop from here and show you the other way to do this. Just right click on the image, you're going to go into Edit In, and you're going to choose Edit in Other Application. What this is going to do is it's going to bring you to the same spot we were when we were in Preferences. Here we are again. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to Choose. You're going to go to your Applications. And you're going to scroll down till you see Evoto. And we're going to select this. And you also have the ability to select what default settings you have, but these will show up every time you go to edit in Evoto. But that's it. That's how to set up edit in Evoto. Let me show you. Now when we right click edit, and now we have edit in Evoto. Now for the next part, I'm going to explain to you what happens from Lightroom to Evoto and back. We're going to make some adjustments on this image. What happens now when we go to edit in Evoto? I want to show you something with Evoto first. If you are in your home screen of Evoto, it will open up the image in a new project. If you're already in Evoto and you are in a project, it will open this file in that project you currently have open. So I'm in the home section of Evoto. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to edit in Evoto. Technically what's happening here is Lightroom is going to export the photo into the original folder that you have the image. People were asking, why do I get a duplicate image? That is why. It's very similar as you exporting the image on your own and then right clicking on that image or dragging it over to a photo. This just does that automatically for you. So let me show you. I'm going to click on edit in Evoto. Up top, you want to choose this top setting, edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. These two sections here do not have the Lightroom adjustments. And again, you're presented with your options. This is what I had set up at default. You can change it to anything you want, a TIFF, a PSD, or a JPEG. Don't use the PSD, Voto can't read that. So now we're gonna go ahead and use this top option and we're gonna edit in Evoto. You'll see that Evoto opens, creates a new project and opens the file. So now what I'm gonna do with this image is I'm gonna make a bunch of random adjustments to this image and I'm gonna show you what happens when you export this image and how to have it directly go to Lightroom. I'm just doing some edits that are clear for you to see. So now I edited this image, this is the before and after, and I'm gonna to go to my export options. So what I want you to understand is what's about to happen here. This image here is the image that Lightroom exported and then opened into Evoto. Once we go over here to our options, if we want the image to show up with the adjustments directly in Lightroom, we're going to select this option right here. A non-raw image will replace the existing file. This is the existing file we're replacing. I'm going to select this. Also notice that if you click this box, there is no dropdown for additional export options. Now once that's selected, when we go to export, it's going to ask us once again, do we want to replace the image? But before I do, I want to open Lightroom so you understand a little more. What Lightroom did here, you see there's two images here. This one is actually the original. You can see the adjustments on the right. I can actually get rid of this. Lightroom exported the file to a folder, but it can also see that image that's there. See this image? 
So what I'm going to do now when I go to export with Evoto is I'm going to be replacing this image here. So now that image is exported and we're going to go ahead and open up Lightroom. Now I will say there is a delay. You kind of have to change something to bring it out, but it's technically there. Let's just say we go from develop tab to library tab and right back to develop tab. And there it is. Sometimes you just have to change a few things. There's a little bit of a delay. Another way to force this to open instead of going back and forth between library and develop is on the bottom left, you'll notice that there's an arrow. Just click on this arrow and select import settings from disk. This is our original image. This is the Evoto image. And that's how you do it. That's how you go from Evoto to Lightroom. So I hope you understood this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So now you've seen how to edit in Evoto from Lightroom, how it opens the photo in Evoto, how the changes can be made in Evoto, and then exported right back to Lightroom. That's it, that's your tutorial. Again, any questions, feel free to ask. Get out there, take some pictures, and make some amazing art.